Okay, what's up guys? This is Dice and welcome to Life is Strange. Okay, there are... There are five episodes of this game and... Still have a long way to catch up. And episode five is coming up soon. Okay, let's start. Let's see what this game is all about. Life is Strange is a story based on a game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely okay. was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's us. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. <laughs> now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition? I didn't in fall asleep, and that sure Anybody? didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Oh. Shh, 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 shh. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Okay. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. And any one of you could do that to me. Okay. Look. I haven't Isn't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Obvious? What if Arbus chose... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh, my God. <laughs> do we have to read this? <laughs> Episode 1, Chrysalis. Okay. Kate, Jefferson, Max... What is this? Hmm. Okay, back. To capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. I can't she believe I still have this pencil case. So I should upgrade to the 21st century. <laughs> but I like I it old school. Admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I do I love my analog camera. Frank. I should take a quick picture now. Okay. 
He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the air. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? What? You ask, I don't know. <laughs> I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there excuse. anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Yay! <laughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. What? Okay. She seems a little, a little depressed. Okay. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. And then Val. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I just really think everyday okay. is an important I hope I haven't been event. embarrassed. And I want to Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera, I am. Ooh. Everybody should have oh, totally. I, I, I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Uh, $5,299, okay. Mm, never mind. Whatever gifts I have for oh, oh, no. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? <laughs> And people laughed. Hmm. What is this? Okay. Amber. What again? Amber forever. Take the picture. Take a look at the picture. Nope. Look. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd <laughs> never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. <laughs> Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, let's go. What is this? Look. You can That's never lighthouse. escape the lighthouse here. Ooh. Yeah, let's 
What's this? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Okay. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Let us go outside. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of class. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying a hundred. She plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Square Enix. She's so fucking shy. Don't mod entertainment. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I removed the music. <laughs> Avoid copyright thing. Look. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. <laughs> guy's laughing. Hmm. Science room. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Where do we need to go again? To the bathroom? Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Stella. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. <laughs> oh, bully. Hey, you. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a vortex cl Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. <laughs> Kick him. Oh, another missing person. It looks like she's been gone for months. Uh -huh. Still the same girl. Rachel. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Okay. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Ooh, decoration. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Okay, let's do... Let's go to the bathroom. Mm. Ah! Hayden. Okay, bathroom. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <laughs> ah, finally. What? This is the girl's restroom? Ah, Rachel Lambert. Missing girl. Now who would bother to write that crap? <laughs> I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Mm, I don't know. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Okay. Gift for taking pictures. Fuck it. Oh, man. 
to turn it up. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. I hate Victoria Chase. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Ah, okay. So we'll take a picture. Okay, that sure will win us the contest. Wait a minute. This is a girl's restroom. What are you doing here? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Uh... Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. You're in the wrong so what do you man. want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am uh -oh. or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? Hey. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh my no! god. You shot her. Okay. Whoa! Oh. What the fuck? What the how, fuck? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand, and then I was back here. What? These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. Okay. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Deja vu. Now, oh, shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless... Can you give me I an actually example did of a it. Photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? What's the question? Max, Viewer? don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? <gasps> because of her Keep image it together, of Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? so, a if he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of death. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Yes, I can I know, that know I'm not dreaming this. As you all know, the photo it's real. Has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has save always her. been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Okay. Now, Max, out. since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Uh, I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. <laughs> But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after uh, class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after Cigar class. A French and I need time to save that girl. A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like Shut a mirror. Up. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. 
Sad face. Oh, sad Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Detail people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. Yes. Turn back time. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? It's the Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented Daguerre. by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Yes. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Sad face. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Uh, way, way, way hey guys, ahead. don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Can you run? Run. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Sad face. Even if you're submitting... I see you, Max Caulfield. What? Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. No. I need to save that girl. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Okay, I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Yes. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Why do we need to rewind? Okay. Okay, speak. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. Okay, I've seen I'd never let one of photography's future... John Lennon said... I'm on top of it. <laughs> I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Yes. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Huh. Just impress Mr. Jefferson. Now let's... No, 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 no! No! That's the wrong button again. Ah. Uh, hate this. Excuse me. Let one of photog. I'm on top of it. Okay. Skip. Max, you're on fire. Okay. How do you run? Open. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, yes, get to please. The bathroom. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! Uh oh You don't know who the fuck I am or who no, you're messing something. around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that Barbara. thing down! Tell me what to do! Well, I'm sorry, it's happened. I need a hammer to break it open! No. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! No. No. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get hammer, that hammer, gun hammer. away from me, hammer. psycho! No. Holy oh. shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Oh, no. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! What? Oh, shit! Get 
that gun. Okay. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control hammer, me. Hammer. You already have the hammer. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. You're right. <laughs> Another shitty day. That did not gun. happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. We are a superhero. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. What? Girls always use that excuse. <laughs> Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> Okay, thank you for saving me, Mr. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? Yes. You can always be up front with me, Max. I have superpowers. I or have you time. done something wrong? <laughs> Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Hmm. Fort Nathan? Okay, let's report that bitch. <laughs> I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? Yes, he's a psycho. You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family mm. and one of Blackwell's most honored students. Crazy so it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss oh. Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Mm. Well, why would we do that? Mm. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Okay, let's ride. You look a little stressed out. Okay, skip. Hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um. Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. <laughs> There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, no, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Mm. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Again? Okay, let's tell the truth. Nathan is a punk ass. Waving a gun around the restroom. You look a little stressed out. 
Okay, report Nathan. Skip. I just saw Nathan Prescott. Okay, let's get out of here. Let us quote unquote to the main campus.